Hey, what's up with a happy Roblox family? Wee! <gasps> Oopsie! Well, Mom, Dad, Daisy, Molly, and the baby. We're the Star Squad, smart and fun, and a little crazy. <laughs> well, maybe just just a little bit. Just, just a tiny bit. <laughs> Don't forget to hit subscribe. And check out our adorable snugglers on StarSquad.shop. Nothing like chilling on the couch, just relaxing. Marty, all you do is relax. You're so lazy. What? No, I'm not. I'm not lazy. Sometimes I also play Roblox. And that doesn't require you to move. You're like... A sloth. <laughs> Sloths are so cool. Girls, um, somebody has to do the dishes. They're starting to pile up. Well, it's not my turn. It's Molly's. What me? I don't. I don't need to do the dishes. I'm good, thanks. I'm just watching uh, this awesome Brook High episode. Molly, it's your turn to do the dishes. Please get off the couch and go do them. Uh, I'm thinking maybe later. Molly, that wasn't a suggestion. Go. Do. The. Dishes. Fine. Ugh. Parents can be so bossy sometimes. <sighs> it's not even like I want to do these dishes. Ever. I'll just do like a couple of them. And then leave the rest for tomorrow for Daisy to do. <laughs> Back to watching my show. Molly, what are you doing? I'm just chilling, Dad. I did the dishes. Did you do all of the dishes? Um, uh... Oh, Molly, what are we gonna do with you? Molly, come on, it's time for dinner! Ooh, what's that? Ooh, is that a McDonald's burger? No, even better! It's a veggie burger! A veggie burger? What's a veggie burger? Ew, this tastes like, like vegetables! Uh, yeah, duh, Molly, it's made out of vegetables. Ugh! This tastes awful! Molly, that's not really nice to say to your mom. That would probably hurt her feelings. No, no, I'm used to it. This looks like something I'd rather eat. Molly, you're not eating Reese Cups for dinner! Molly! Oh my gosh, this girl, what am I gonna do with her? Well, I can't eat a veggie burger. I'll throw up! Ugh. Molly, just try to eat healthy. You're gonna get clogged arteries! What? No, I'm not. Too young for all that. Molly, eating healthy is very important. Uh, yeah, but Reese's is very important because it tastes delicious. <laughs> oh, boy. Molly, you're getting crumbs all over the floor. Go get the vacuum and clean it up, please. <laughs> Here, Gracie. Here, Gracie. Molly, the dogs can't eat chocolate. Get the vacuum. You know, Molly, do you remember that story when you were little? What story? The house who had enough. Um, I remember it. This veggie book is delicious, Molly. Mom, thank you so much. I'm sorry Molly doesn't want to eat it. Okay, the house who had enough. I forget what it was about. It was about this girl who kept being naughty and abusing her house. She squeezed toothpaste on the sink, never cleaned up her dirty clothes, always left gross food in the refrigerator. She just didn't take care of anything in the house. And the house got up and ran away. If you're not careful, Molly, and you don't treat the people in your house and your house with love and respect, you never know when they might just run away. <laughs> oh, Dad, that's just a story like you'd ever run away. <laughs> oh, Molly, just get ready to go to bed, please. Okay, well, good night, Dad. Good night, Molly. Girls, I said go to bed. Don't turn the TV back on. Ugh, he's so strict. Well, we better go to bed. We've already seemed to make him mad a bunch of times today, Daisy. Not me. I did everything I was supposed to do. I know, Daisy. You're so perfect. <laughs> What a 
beautiful morning. Hey, where's Dad going with that suitcase and, 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 and driving away in the car? So I can sleep in later. That way I don't have to get up and get ready for school. So lazy. Like I said. Anyway, what's going on with Dad? Let's just go tell Mom. 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 Oh, wait. It, it's 7 o'clock. She already left for work. What do you mean Dad ran away? We told you last night that he was thinking about it, Molly. What are you doing, Daisy? Looking for evidence of why he ran. He, he said, you know about the house you had enough? Yeah, but I thought Dad was just joking about that. No, Molly, he was trying to warn you that if you didn't straighten up, he was going to leave us. How could you do this to us, Molly? What? N no! Th 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 this, this can't be! Wait a minute, what's that on the bed? Look, Daisy, it's a receipt for a plane ticket. Oh my gosh, he's leaving on a plane. Never re to return again! Did you try to do that line, Molly? Oh, uh, yeah, I really did. Wasn't it awesome? Molly! Come on, we have to get to the airport! And quick, before he leaves! Molly, what are you doing? There's no time for a bike! Come on, get on my Vespa! Okay, I never rode on this thing, though. How safe is it? It's safe, Molly. Now, come on! Uh, Daisy, it goes kind of slow. Uh, I feel like I could have ridden my bike faster. Oh, Molly, you're so lazy you wouldn't be able to pedal it anyway. Whoa, rude! But kind of truthful. Daisy, I feel so bad that Dad, Dad, Dad ran away because of me. Molly, it's, it's going to be okay. All you have to do is tell him you're sorry, you love him, and that he should come back. Okay, I hope he listens. Me too, Molly. Me too. Look, there's the airport! And then and, and there's Dad's truck! Come on, Daisy. I, I think we made it in time. Wait, why is the door not opening? Okay, there we go. Dad! Dad! Molly? Daisy? What are you guys doing here? What are you doing here, Dad? You're just going to abandon us? You're going to run away and, and leave us? What? What are you talking about? We know that Molly is a pain in the butt, but... Um, it's not a reason to leave your family. What are you talking about? Oh, you think that I'm running away? Well, you did tell us about the house you had enough. Didn't you guys get my note? Uh, I'm going on a work trip for two days. Wait, what? <laughs> you mean, um, you're not just gonna run away? No, as much as you drive me crazy, Molly, I love you guys. Oh. I'd never actually run away. Oh, does that mean I never have to do the dishes again? Ha ha ha! Think again! You have to do the dishes for a month straight for not listening to me. Oh, Dad, that sounds very fail. I don't want to do the dishes anyway. Girls, I need you to go home, though, because my plane's about to leave. Well, I love you, Dad. I'm glad you're not running away. Me too. I love you, Dad. I love you, girls, too. Oh, wish me luck. I really don't like flying. I always have the farts when I fly. Oh, man! Maybe I should wish the other passengers luck. See you later! <laughs> Bye! Oh, man, he's farting already. All right, Daisy, well, I guess you owe me an apology. What? Why? Because you said I made Dad run away, and obviously I didn't. <laughs> oh, boy, Molly. Witches. Ooh, this show is awesome. Can't wait. Hello? Oh, hi, dear. It's your mother. Oh, hi, Mom. Uh, what's going on? Well, dear, tomorrow's Christmas, and I was really hoping I didn't have to be alone. I could cook a big Christmas dinner if you want. Christmas? Uh, Mom, it's not even Thanksgiving tomorrow. <laughs> You're a little head on your timeline there. <laughs> Are you feeling okay? 
Oh dear me, I have my dates mixed up again. Oh, I really do hope you could come for dinner anyway, even if it's not Christmas. I'm lonely and I miss my family. Oh, geez, Mom. Of course we'll come. Uh, we could leave tonight, spend the night, and then we could spend the day tomorrow playing board games and going for walks and, and, and talking. Does that sound fun? Your granddaughters would love to see you. Oh, yes, dear. That'd be fabulous. Okay, well, we'll leave in about 15 minutes as soon as we can pack our bags. Bye, Mom. Bye, dear. But, Dad, it's a new episode of Rags to Riches. We're going to miss it. Molly, Grandma's more important. Oh, Dad. Well, your grandma's kind of senile. I mean, she thought tomorrow was Christmas, and it's not even Thanksgiving yet. Don't you think we should go check in on her? Well, I guess you're right. And I haven't seen Grandma in a while. I do kind of miss her. Exactly. Now, go get your coats and your bags. Pack them up. We're going to see Grandma. Okay. Wait, what? Where are we going? We're going to spend the weekend with your mother-in-law. Aren't you excited? Oh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I can't wait. Oh, man. I'm all ready. Last one to the car is a rotten egg. Whoa, it's like a blizzard outside. Uh, Mom, Dad, you better pack an extra coat. And um, have you been outside recently? Holy guacamole, it's a blizzard out here. How are we going to make it to Grandma's house now? I don't know, but you can't let her down. We have to still go. Oh, I have four-wheel drive and good tires on the car. I'm sure we'll be fine. Go get a coat on, Molly. Okay. Oh, my whole weekend is going to be at my mother-in-law's. Don't worry. Grandma's pretty nice, don't you think, Mom? Uh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> I can't wait to eat her burned turkey. That's better. Now it won't be cold. Come on, Molly. Let's get going. Gotta go over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. The car knows the way to carry us all to her house in the snow. Uh, Dad, I'm not sure that's how that goes. Don't worry, Daisy. Dad's just not a singer. Come on, honey. We don't want to be late. Are uh, you sure about this? I mean, it's a little cold out here and, and, and the weather is, well, horrible. Don't worry, Mom. We've all got our seatbelts. And Dad said this car is four-wheel drive. We'll be fine. Yeah, this car is... Whoa, I'm sliding already. <laughs> this is going to be fun. I don't know what your definition of fun is, but the entire town is deserted. It's a blizzard out here. My mom really needs us to check in on her, honey. She said she's lonely. Oh, okay. Well, we should try to get there then. Go really slow. These roads are terrible. I can't see anything. It's it's almost a whiteout here. I think you took the wrong turn, honey. I think we're back in town. Nah, this doesn't look like town. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! We ran into the pool! Ah! Oh my gosh! Everybody try to open your door quickly! We don't want to drown! Oh my gosh, nobody else is out of the car. I'm out, Dad! I'm out! Wait. We're all out. We're all okay. Wait a minute. Where's Molly? Molly! I'll go back in for her. Molly? Molly, say something. Uh, well, what happened? Molly, are you okay? Um, uh, I feel kind of, whoa, I'm feeling kind of weird. Do I look all right to you guys? Oh my gosh. Molly turned into a Happy Meal. What? But, 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 but how can that be? I mean, we got in a wreck and now she's a Happy Meal? Ooh, she looks delicious. I'm going to eat her. Hey, no! Don't eat me! I, 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 I can't believe I turned into a Happy Meal! Is this what happens when you almost drown? You just you just morph into something else? Come back here. I like Happy Meals. I want to eat you. Ah! My sister's going to eat me! I got to turn back out of a Happy Meal. How did this happen? Maybe if I jump back in the pool, it'll fix it. Okay, there's the car. I, I just have to swim down. Ugh. Does anybody know how a Happy Meal swims? Uh, uh, I can't see anything. Uh, uh, I don't want to be a Happy Meal anymore. Well, her vital signs are good. I just don't understand why she's not waking up. No, no, I, I, no, like, I, no. Molly, wake up. 
Wake up, you took a massive bonk on your head in the accident. But we need you to open your eyes, Molly. Open your eyes! <laughs> what happened to me? <gasps> no! I don't want to be a Happy Meal! I don't want to be a Happy Meal! Um, honey, apparently your Happy Meal is really upsetting our daughter. Sorry, that accident made me really hungry and we've been waiting a long time for her to wake up. I'm just starving. You better get rid of it before she freaks out and, and goes back into a coma. Okay, Molly, I need you to calm down. No one is a Happy Meal, honey. No one's a Happy Meal. I, I was! I was a Happy Meal! What is she talking about? I don't know, but I don't want a Happy Meal as a daughter. I want Molly! This is just normal. Sometimes our brains get a little scrambled when we get a bonk on the head. She definitely has a concussion. So, um, she's not a Happy Meal? Uh, no, of course she's not. She's still your daughter. Oh, good! What happened? Well, um, we were driving to Grandma's house. And, um, there was a really bad storm. Yeah, I remember all that. And then I accidentally drove us into the Brookhaven pool and you almost drowned. And apparently you think you're a Happy Meal now. Oh, my gosh. Where's Daisy? Is Daisy okay? Daisy's fine. She's just resting and drinking some hot cocoa to warm herself up. You're the one we're worried about, Molly. Actually, I feel pretty good. Whoa, whoa. Sit, sit down, Molly. Sit down. It's normal to feel a little dizzy and sick to your stomach when you get a bonk on the head. Is it normal to think you're a chicken nugget? Um, well, there's a first for everything. I knew it. I knew it. I'm strange because I think I'm a chicken nugget. That will pass, Molly, and everything will be fine. Uh, what we need you to do right now is try to go to sleep and get some rest. Okay. I'll try. Whoa, Daisy, what are you doing here? I I'm supposed to be sleeping. Mm, well, I just came to see you, Molly. It was very important. Oh. oh. <coughs> um, sorry, I was just choking on this giant bite. What are you eating? You, of course. Mm, you're the most delicious Happy Meal I ever did eat. Mm, and all thanks to that accident. Huh? What? No! I don't want to be a Happy Meal! Somebody get me out of here! I can't be a Happy Meal! No! No! Okay, where's the exit? Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh. I have to get out of here. Ha! Huh? No one's allowed to eat me! Even if I am a Happy Meal! Do you hear that? No one can eat Molly! Honey, I love you. I love you too. Have a great day with baby Kira. Yeah, she's been such a good girl lately. No temper tantrums or anything. Wow, great job, baby Kira. I get up on our watch TV. I get up on it. Honey, I made you a healthy breakfast. Oatmeal with apple slices. But honey, I'm a cop. I need to eat my donut. It's just a part of my job. Honey, <sighs> I gotta go, honey. I love you. Bye, baby Kira. Love you. He never listens to me about eating healthy. Mama, I want TV now. No, sweetie, not right now. We have to go to the grocery store. I want to go to the grocery store. I want to play watch TV. I want to ride in the car. Sorry, baby Kara, but you do need to ride in the car because that's how we get to the grocery store. I walk there. Oh, uh, not today, honey. That's a really... Wait, you're not allowed to leave without Mama. Oh my gosh, I just got done saying to my husband that baby Kira has been temper tantrum free. But I just feel like today is going to be kind of crazy. Yeah, we can't walk there today because it's cold outside, sweetheart. So we're going to drive, okay? All right, let me just go get my purse. No, we're not skateboarding there either. Ay, 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 kids. Okay, baby Kira, I got my sweatshirt and my bag. Wait, wait, where is she? Baby Kira, this isn't funny. Baby Kira. Ugh, she wants to play hide and seek now? What? Maybe she's in going potty. No. Baby Kira, come out here this instant. Ah! Oh my god, she's on the railing. Baby Kira, get down before you get hurt, honey. I thought we I thought it was fun. No, not fun. Come on, go potty before we go so you don't have any accidents at the grocery store. I'm like potty training. Potty training, boy. Baby Kira. 
What are you doing? I want a snack. You just ate breakfast. Come on, go in and go potty. Now, the floor is going to be lava in 10, 9, Dude, that's the floor is lava. 8, 7, 6, 5. Hurry, baby Kara, before the floor turns into lava. I made it. The floor is not lava. I'm right up here just in case the lava comes back. Oh, great. I can get devoured by the lava. Perfect. Exactly. You're the mama, so that's what happens. In you go, baby Kara. Make sure you buckle up your seatbelt. I am ma. Uh, I got to buckle my seatbelt. I got to be a good girl. Oh, that would be so great, baby Kira. Now let's head to the store. Whoa, the roads are kind of slippery today. Say hi to Molly and Daisy. They're at school today. Hi, Molly and Daisy. I'm not at school. I go to the grocery store. I have lots of snacks and stuff. Come on, baby Kira. Let's go inside. It's freezing out. I want to go inside. I like fresh air. Me too, but today might not be the day to get any. It's so cold outside. Okay, get in the car. I'm black, I'm big girl. No, no, you don't get to have your own car. Oh my God, baby Kira, you just put me inside the car. Okay, good, you're finally in the car. <sighs> I'm not being bad, mom. No, not at all, baby Kira. Oh my goodness. Hi, welcome to Brookhaven Mart. How are you doing today? We're good, thank you. We're just gonna pick up some groceries. Oh, great, someone with a kid. I bet their kid's gonna be totally annoying. Oh, hey, Karen, nice to see you. Sort of. Ah, uh, yeah, sure, nice to see you too, Laura. All right, we need some apples, some bananas. Ooh, the red apples look really good this week too. I like Doritos. No, no Doritos. We're gonna try to eat healthy. Your dad definitely needs to. He's been eating far too many donuts lately. I want Doritos. Baby Kira, we're not having Doritos right now. I want those, I, I want those taco bars. No, no candy, honey. I want candy. Baby Kira, this is not like you. Why, why are you crying? I don't know. I just want candy. I want candy. I want the window. Baby Kira, stop this. This is so embarrassing. I want it. I want it. I want it. Whoa, your kid is a total brat. Thanks for pointing that out, Karen. Oh, baby Kira. Come on, mommy will pick you up. There, there. Please stop this. It's really embarrassing. I want candy. Baby Kira, enough of this. Seriously, you're going to get a time out. I know it's disappointing to can't ha you can't have treats when you want one, but not this week. <laughs> Maybe you really just need a nap. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm just going to hurry up at the grocery store. Why don't you just leave the grocery store? Your kid is being so annoying. Karen, you obviously don't have children, but sometimes they have temper tantrums. Uh, what are you doing? Take me out of your cart. I'm going to take you out of here because you're so annoying. Uh, okay, now we're getting in a, in a cart jam. Get out of my way, Karen. St stop it. You're in my way. Hey, why am I sitting in your cart now? Oh my gosh, she is so annoying. Baby Kara, seriously, stop having a tantrum. Please, you're embarrassing me in front of Karen and, and everyone in the grocery store. I want what I want. I know you want what you want. Hurry up and get me checked out. I can't stand being around that kid's, that person's brat anymore. Hey, that brat you're talking about is my daughter and she's two years old. Two-year-olds have temper tantrums sometimes, Karen. Well, if I ever have kids, they're gonna be perfect angels. I bet, Karen. I bet they'll take right after you. Um, okay, does your daughter want a lollipop? No, she's having a temper tantrum. She's not allowed to have a lollipop. I want a lollipop! Oh, I just need patience. Hi, please, give me patience. Baby Kira, that was very naughty behavior at the grocery store. What's gotten into you? Oh, I think you might just be tired. Come on, sweetheart. Let's take you upstairs and tuck you in and take a night-night. A right night-night. Well, you need a night-night really badly. I don't want night-night. Oh, no, not another temper tantrum, please. Anything but that. 
Come on, look. You even have your big girl bed. You can sleep right here. Come on. It's going to be so nice to take a night-night. You really need it. I'll buy one. Too bad. You need to take one. Oh, see you in hopefully two hours, baby Kira. Oh, my gosh. Today has been the longest day ever. I'm just going to kick back on the couch and just close my eyes for just a minute. I die even tired. I find I pick you. I don't need nap. I need to sneak outside get you for sale. Yeah, that's what I need for sale. Shh, tell my mommy. She needed a nap. It's a candy bar. Whoa, I must have fallen asleep. I really needed a nap after dealing with baby Kira all day. <sighs> I bet some cold air will wake me up. <sighs> baby Kira? Oh, watch it, my daughter's right there. Oh my God, baby Kira, you almost got hit by a car. What are you doing? I gotta get the fresh air and eat the um, wheezy cup. Baby Kira, you could have gotten killed. And you're not supposed to be eating chocolate either. That's it. Time out. What? What? I, I. Do you want to be like your sister, Molly, who's always in timeouts and detention? I don't know. The answer to that is no. Come on. Time out for you. Hey, honey. Oh, I had the longest day. Honey? What? What's going on? Are, are you okay? Where's baby Kira? I'm for you in the time out, too. Oh, no. She started having a temper tantrum, didn't she? I, I, I need a break. She's all yours for the next hour and a half. Seriously? I just got home. Uh, are we going to have dinner? I don't know. I'll pick up McDonald's when I get back. Laura? Nope. Need a break. Have fun with baby Kira. Uh... Getting out of bed ever again. Molly, Molly, you, you're so annoying sometimes. You have to get out of bed. Today is the day we get our report cards. Exactly why I'm never getting out of this bed. Do you not remember what mom said like three months ago? Oh, yes. I remember it like it was yesterday. You girls need to take school very serious. I want you both to come home with the best grades you possibly can. Because if you don't, you're going to be grounded for at least a month. That way you'll have more time to study. And that's exactly why I'm not getting out of bed. Because if I don't get out of bed, then I don't have to go to school. And if I don't go to school, I don't get my report card. And if I don't get my report card, then mom doesn't see I got any bad grades. And then I'm not grounded for a month. Am I getting through to you at all here? Yes, Molly, but mom's just going to make you go to school unless you're sick. Well then. I feel extremely sick. Ah! Molly, what, what are you talking about? I've got zombieism. Ah! Molly, that's just makeup you put on. Mom's going to know. No, come on. We have to go. We're going to be late. And then you're going to get detention and a bad grade. You're going to get grounded for two months instead. Ah! Good morning, Bob. Good morning, baby Kira. I need your papa. Molly, what, what, what's wrong with you? Why are you painted green? <laughs> with that face, like looking all mad right now, she looks like the Incredible Hulk, doesn't she? Daisy, I'm gonna go Incredible Hulk on you if you don't leave me alone. Molly, what's gotten into you? Oh, go take a shower and wash off all that green paint and turn your attitude to a friendlier one. It's time to get ready for school. Today's report card day. Don't remind me. Ugh, it's going to be the worst day of my life. I just know it. Molly, come on. We don't want to miss the school bus. Molly, what would you like for breakfast? You can take it on the run. I'm not even hungry. See you after school, Mom. Bye, Molly. Have a good day. Okay, I guess she's not going to say have a good day back to me. Oh, well, this is what it's like when your kids grow up. Overall, everyone has had a great report card this semester. There were a few people that failed a few of the classes, which was disappointing. But I want to say that one student in our school has had a huge improvement, 
and I've decided to buy her ice cream every day for the week just because she's done so amazing. Huh, huh, I don't want to get my report card. I know I've failed, and then Mom's going to grab me for a month. She's going to be so disappointed in me. I just know it. Well, Molly, maybe you got most improved. You have worked extra hard this semester. Yeah, right. I'm never be smart enough to get most improved. Most improved goes to Molly Acker. I know, I know. I get detention again. Ugh. I'll show up at three o'clock, just like I always do. No, Molly, she got. She said you got most improved. Say what? Me? I got most improved. Did I hear that right, Daisy? You sure did, Molly. Congratulations. Mom's gonna be so happy. Plus, you get free ice cream at every lunch. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy right now. I can't believe this. I can't believe it. Okay, everyone, let's calm down and I'll hand out the report cards. Remember, you need to have it signed by one of your parents. I don't think I've ever smiled this much in my life, ever. I can't stop smiling. My face hurts I'm smiling so much. It's frozen this way. Oh my gosh, I got all A's and B's. Mom and Dad are gonna freak out. They're gonna be so happy. <laughs> I get free ice cream for an entire week too. So happy right now, so happy. Daisy, I guess you got A's on the entire report card, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I did fine, as I always do. <laughs> um, yeah, I did great. I did super great. Can't wait to get home. Can't wait to show mom and dad. I bet they're gonna buy me a car. Uh, Molly, I wouldn't depend on that. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, I can't wait to show mom my report card. Mom, 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 mom. Wow, Molly, what has gotten into you? Did they feed you donuts for lunch again? No, 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 no. I got my report card, mom. Guess what? I won most improved in the whole school. Well, I mean, <laughs> you did get detention like every day, so the bar is kind of low. Mom! <laughs> Let me see your report card, Molly. Here you go, mom. What? All A's and B's? Yeah, you're gonna buy me a new car now, right? Um, no, Molly, but I am gonna say congratulations. I'm very proud of you. And you know what? I think we can go out to your favorite restaurant tonight to celebrate. Really? Mm-hmm, sure. I got get your buy, I get your eye poo poo my diaper. Um, where's your sister? I don't know. Usually she's so excited to come in here and show you her report card. She was kind of dragging her feet when we were walking home. Oh, hmm. Maybe something's bothering her. Why don't you go find her while I change baby Kira's diaper? Okay, Mom. Hmm. Maybe she's in the backyard or something. Maybe she's sad that I'm smarter than her now. <laughs> Daisy! Daisy, where are you? Daisy! I can't believe it. This is the worst day ever. Daisy? Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Why? What's going on? I can't talk to you about it, Molly. You wouldn't understand. Well, Mom wants you to come in. It's almost dinner time, and she wants to see your report card. Well, I guess it's time to face my doom. What are you talking about? <gasps> Did you fail something? Molly, get out of my face right now. Okay, fine. I was just trying to talk to you, but apparently you don't want to talk. I get it. I mean, I did amazing this time. That must make you feel pretty bad. Molly, did you find your sister? I, I went by in my diaper for Mama changed it. Yes, baby Kira, I know. Yes, I found Daisy. She's coming. Why are you frowning right now? You were so happy about your report card. Daisy, like, was rude to me. No, I wasn't. You're just annoying, okay? Go away. I need to talk to Mom alone. Okay, fine. I don't know what's ever gotten into everybody today. I think it's at the baby. Da, 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 ba, da, 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 ba. Daisy, why are you crying? What's wrong? Well, I've been embarrassed to admit this to you because I'm always so amazing and perfect. Well, Daisy, no one's perfect. What happened? I failed gym class. It wasn't my fault. They wanted us to run around and get all sweaty. And when I get sweaty, it ruins my pigtails. And I look ridiculous and frizzy all day. Do you want me to look frizzy, Mom? Do you want me to look frizzy? Daisy, this is serious. You failed a class. I'm sorry, but I have no choice but to ground you for a month. Ah! This is the worst day of my life. 
Daisy failed? Dun, dun, dun. This is so weird. I'm usually the one that fails, and now it's Daisy? You little eavesdropper! I told you not to, to listen! Oh my gosh, I'm going crazy. I'm gonna go crazy! Don't worry, Daisy. It's only a month, and it's so you can practice. Huh, Mom? How's she gonna practice gym? Daisy, run around the block 30 times and get really sweaty and make your pigtails really frizzy. There, that's gonna be your practice. Ugh, oh, that sounds terrible! I need time to work on my science project at night! Yes, but... Uh, Molly has a point. You are going to have to practice gym since that's what you failed. <laughs> Next time, I'm going to purposely fail lunch just so I have to practice eating more every single day for an entire month. <laughs> and I want what's on the menu too. Pizza, ice cream. Molly, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, definitely going to fail lunch next time around. <laughs> Good morning, class. I have your test results here. And I just want to say, for the most part, I'm so... Ugh, I can't talk right now. Um, someone important texted me. Sarah, phone's away during math class. Please read the board. Math is important and stuff. That's right. Math is important and stuff. So... Anyway, I want to tell you, Sarah, you actually got a really good grade on your math test. Congratulations. Which is exactly why I don't really even need to, be, need to be paying attention. This class is so boring. It's so beneath me. Sarah, this class is a requirement for you passing school. So I suggest you keep your phone put away and keep working hard. And Daisy, uh, your test is also very good. Brookie, do you need to talk to me about anything? Um, no, not really. Why? Because your test grade is barely passing. You got a 70 on this. Oh, I did? I thought I understood it. Well, apparently you didn't. Wow, I did amazing. And it wasn't even that hard. How on earth did you only get a 70, Brookie? I don't know, but... My mom's really gonna ground me for it, even though I, I worked so hard to get a good grade. Oh no, this is terrible. Well, maybe you should be smarter. I, I, I guess I should be. I can't believe this. I worked so hard on this test and, and I failed and I feel so ignoramus. <laughs> what am I even doing with my life right now? <laughs> I'm a loser. I know I am. Whoa, is that Brookie crying in the bathroom? Brookie? Brookie, what's wrong? I failed my math test and I don't know why. Don't worry, I fail my math test all the time. <laughs> yeah, but Molly, that's because you don't always study. Well, yeah, I usually want to play Roblox or just chill. And, but I'm getting better about like doing my schoolwork because, you know, I don't want to be an ignorant moose grown up. <laughs> Well, I studied really hard and I still only got a 70. My mom's really gonna ground me. <laughs> Brookie, oh, I'm so sorry. Look, maybe Daisy could tutor you in math. I mean, I would offer, but I'm not that good at math, so I can't. But I'm sure that Daisy would, or maybe the teacher can explain it to you. It's not your fault if you don't understand. You tried really hard. That, that's not your fault. She'll help you. Trust me, one time I came to the teacher afterwards. I had failed, even though I studied. And um, he actually changed my grade. Seriously? Yeah, there's hope, Brookie. Don't worry. He showed me what I was doing wrong with the problems. And then I corrected them. And he said I showed so much effort that he was going to change my grade to, to a better grade. I think I got like an 85 or something. Whoa, Molly. Thanks. That makes me feel much better. I'll talk to the math teacher after lunch. Yeah, you definitely don't want to miss today. It's Taco Tuesday. Whoa, this burrito looks delicious. I'm more for the taco, but I got both a, a taco and a burrito because I'm extra hungry. Are you going to eat anything, thing, Brookie? I can't even talk right now. <laughs> I didn't sleep very good last night. I was tossing and turning, thinking about how I'm going to go do this cool thing on Saturday where you learn how to make ice cream. Seriously, Molly, you're going to do that? Yeah, it's a class at the ice cream shop, and basically, they teach you how to make chocolate ice cream. I couldn't even, like, think or sleep or anything last night. I was so excited. What is up with your hair, Brookie? Holy cow, you look so ugly right now. Sarah, that was rude to say. 
I gotta take a picture of this. <laughs> it's so silly and ridiculous. What? What's wrong with my hair? Molly, what's wrong with my hair? Well, you were kind of upset in the bathroom and um, when you were pacing back and forth, like I'm um, freaking out about your math test, uh, your hair got a little cray cray. Yeah, um, do you want to bubble my hair brush? I, I could go get it out of my backpack. Don't even bother. There's no hope for her. <laughs> Sarah, get out of here. You're being rude. I'm going to tell the principal on you. Whatever. <laughs> Don't worry, Boogie. I'll fix your hair up perfectly. Thanks, but it sounds like we're going to be ugly no matter what you do, Daisy. Nonsense! You're beautiful, Brookie! I know because you're my best friend. That's why you think I'm beautiful, because I'm your best friend. And if I wasn't, then you'd think just like everybody else. No one thinks you're ugly, Brookie. Sarah's just rude and jealous and mean. Yeah, don't listen to anything she says. Brookie, I'll have your hair fixed up in no time. Phew! Perfect! Brookie, come on, turn that frown upside down. I can't, Molly. I just feel so sad. Hey, do you want to come over to our house after school? We could we could hang out. Yeah, sure. Um, and I have some ice cream. I mean, it's not homemade or anything, but it's ice cream sandwiches. One of your favorites. Thanks, Molly. You're a good friend. No problem. A few hours later. Mmm, these ice cream sandwiches are delicious. Help yourself to as many as you want, Bricky. You could even have two or three if it'll make you feel better. Yeah, a nice cream sandwich is certainly delicious. It'll make your tummy happy and a smile on your face. I don't know. She doesn't look too smiley to me. Brookie, are you ever going to feel happy again? Yeah, <laughs> you guys are the best. I'm so glad I have you as my friends. We're glad to have you too, Brookie. Just don't know what to do about Sarah. She's just so rude. She's such a bully. Just ignore her. That's what my mom taught us. And if she's really bullying you to the point of you can't stand it anymore, then you should definitely tell somebody at school. You know, like a teacher or the principal or something. Yeah, I've been giving that some thought. I might have to tell the principal. Don't worry. We'll be there to support you, Brookie. Always. Thanks, guys. I should probably get going home. Thanks for the ice cream sandwich and your friendship. No problem, Brookie. See you tomorrow at school. Hey, Mom, I'm home. Okay, hold on, Brookie, I'm on the phone. Well, you didn't tell me that when we brought her home from the hospital. How come you're just giving me this information now? What? Is this about me? I'll be off the phone in a minute, Brookie. Hold on, and I'll explain everything. Well, what do you mean you just found this out? This is some really big news. How am I supposed to tell my daughter this? Yes, I, I understand. Yes, I know. Ad adoptions aren't perfect. I know. Well, thank you for calling. Goodbye. Mom, what was that all about? Were you talking about my adoption? Yes, Brookie, and I have some really exciting and possibly shocking news. What? What is it, Mom? Well, you see, that was the hospital and the adoption agency. They said, well, when you were born, and they didn't know this, but... When you were born, you were born with a twin sister. Wait, what? I, 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 I have a, t a, t a twin sister? That's right. And the news gets even more shocking, sweetie. How can it be more shocking than that? I've lived my whole life this, this way. And now I'm, I'm, I've got a twin out there somewhere in the world. Not somewhere in the world, sweetie. Right here in Brookhaven. And she goes to your school. Wait, what? Are you serious? Yeah. Um, I even know her name. Would you like to know what it is? Uh, yeah, Mom. Who is it? Her name is Sarah. She's in your grade. Wait, what? Mom, is this some sort of prank? Sarah? No, Mom. Uh, Brookie. Brookie, are you okay? Say something. Brookie. Yeah, I'm okay, Mom. I'm just, I'm in shock. I... I can't believe that Sarah's my twin sister. There is Brookie. I call her Brookie Cookie. She's my bestie. Brookie, Brookie Cookie. Ah, uh, that's a great song and all, Molly, but I can't talk right now. Really? Why? We always talk before school. Sorry, Molly. I have something really, really important to do. Okay, well, good luck. Sarah, I need to talk to you. Why is she talking to Sarah? Go away, loser. I don't talk to losers who are unpopular and get bad grades in math class. No, seriously, Sarah, this is important. 
More important than my Starbucks pumpkin spice latte? I don't think so. Well, yeah, it is because... <sighs> Look, we're the only two kids in the school that I know of that are adopted. What? So, what is your point? My mom got a phone call from the adoption agency that I was adopted from and the hospital last night. They said that when I was born, I had a twin sister. Not identical, but twin. So why are you telling me this? It sounds like your own sob story. Okay, you can believe me about this, but, but, okay, you're my twin sister. Say what? <laughs> Very funny. You're like the biggest loser. I mean, besides Molly, she's probably a bigger loser, but you're a loser. You can be my sister and not ever, not possible. No, seriously, Sarah, here's the paperwork from the adoption agency. We are sisters. What? No, we're not. Look at this paper. Huh? What? This, this can't be. I don't want you as my sister. You don't? I think I'm... I think I'm a good person. I could be a good sister to you. I've always wanted a sister, even if you are kind of a bully. I can sort of look past that, though. Maybe we could work on it a little bit and be close and friends and, and hang out together. What? No. I don't care what that paper says. You're no sister of mine. And we're going to keep this a secret. No one can know. My popularity is at stake. So you don't want to tell anyone you're my sister? Never. Not ever. Um, okay. Well... All right. <laughs> oh, goodbye and good riddance. <laughs> oh my God, is that Brookie crying in the bathroom again? She's having a horrible week this week. Brookie? Oh, Molly, it's terrible. <laughs> what? What's terrible? What's going on? And did you have a growth spurt? You're so much bigger than me. Maybe, whatever. <laughs> my mom found out I have a twin sister. Say what? A twin sister? Are you serious? That's so cool. Yeah. Except for the person who's my twin sister doesn't want to actually be my twin sister. Why not? You're amazing. You're so nice and cool and creative and... And did I say you were nice? Yeah, but my sister is Sarah. What? Sarah? That's some sort of prank, right? No, Molly, it's not a prank. It's true. Here's the adoption papers. Holy macaroni and cheese. Guacamole on my taco. Molly, are you freaking out? Yeah, a little bit. I can't believe Sarah's your twin sister. Obviously, you guys don't look alike. No, we're not identical. We're just sisters. Actually, I can sort of see how you do have the same eyes and the same nose. Oh, she doesn't want to be my sister. She wants to keep it a secret. That makes me feel so sad. Well, you know what? Her loss, Brookie. Her loss. Because you're an amazing person. And you're like a sister to me. So maybe you could think of me as your sister. Really, Molly? <laughs> Are you, are you being serious? Yeah, you're an amazing person, Brookie. Don't let Sarah's damage bring you down. She's got her own thing going on that she has to work on because she's rude and a bully, but you're not. So don't let her get you down. Thanks, Molly. That makes me feel kind of better. Well, this should make you feel really better. I bought you a ticket to learn how to make that homemade ice cream with me. You did? Yeah, chocolate's your favorite. Besides, I'd love for you to go along, sister. Oh, thanks, Molly. Thanks. How about this one, baby Kira? Look at it. It's got Whoa. cute little pandas. You like this one? I love it, but not as much as I love Mr. Monkey. Yeah, Mr. Monkey is super adorable. <laughs> Ooh, I'm super hungry. Me too. I wonder when dinner's gonna be ready. Mom, mom, what are we having for dinner? Oh, you're gonna be so happy, Molly. We're having one of your favorites, tacos. Seriously, tacos? Oh, this day just got amazing. Um, I'm gonna go back and watch TV until it's ready, okay, mom? Sure, Molly, no problem. Thanks, mom. I love the metal monkey. Let's go see mom and what she doing. She's making dinner, baby Kira. Yeah, but well, I miss my mommy. I want to see her. Mama, I'm thirsty. I have a bottle of milk. Of course you can, sweetie, but just don't drink too much of it. I don't want you to spoil your dinner. We're having tacos. I love tacos. It's so good. Mm. Oh, I just remembered I have to switch over the laundry. Be right back, sweetie. 
apple will bear milk in the taco, make it taste better. <laughs> I will bit in this taco. I will bit in this one too. I put milk in all the tacos. <laughs> Are you serious? The baby panda lost its mom? <laughs> this was the worst show ever. I changed my mind. Well, Molly, good thing we're eating tacos for dinner. That'll cheer you up. I don't think anything can cheer me up after that show. Oh, that was so sad. <laughs> I get bit dramatic. I'm not dramatic. Okay, maybe a little baby, Kira, but that, that was so sad. Girls, time for dinner. Yeah. Mom, mm, I don't know what you did to the tacos this time, but mm, they're better than ever. <laughs> what, baby Kira? Nothing. I didn't do anything different, Molly. You must just be extra hungry. <laughs> Can I have another one? Sure, Molly. Mm. You really do like the tacos. Mm -hmm. mm. Delicious. Ten minutes later. Ugh, my stomach feels kind of ouchy. Oh, Molly, are you okay? Did you eat too much? No. Uh, it's okay, she just has to fart because she ate too many tacos. This happens. Huh, what? No, I don't. <clears throat> okay, yeah, maybe I do a little. Uh, no, no, gotta run to the bathroom. Uh, Molly, are you gonna be okay? I hope so. Uh, uh -huh. ah, what was wrong with those tacos? Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Uh. <sighs> Oh, okay. A little bit better. Wait a minute. Where's the toilet paper? Seriously? Did I just go to the bathroom and there's no toilet paper? There's gotta be some somewhere here, right? No? No? Uh-oh. This is so embarrassing! I need toilet paper! Who used up all my toilet paper? Mom, we're out of toilet paper! Oh, no. Okay, Molly. Well, there's probably some in the upstairs bathroom, but there's some baby wipes in there. What? I'm not a baby, Mom. I don't need to use baby wipes. Molly, it's fine. Just use the baby wipes. Ugh. Ooh, Molly, are you okay? I don't know. What'd you put in those tacos anyway? I didn't put anything different in. I ate up with your milk in. Wait, what? You put milk in the tacos? Uh-huh, I put it from my baby bottle. But, oh, baby Kira. Molly's allergic to dairy. She's lactose intolerant. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Here it comes again. Okay, I'm going to use the upstairs bathroom because there's no toilet paper down here. Oh, gotta run, 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 gotta run, run, gotta run, 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 gotta run to the bathroom. Oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. Okay, I made it. Oh, and she. Oh, can't believe she put milk in my taco. Oh. Okay, better. All right, where's the toilet paper? Seriously? There's no toilet paper anywhere in this house! Mom! Molly, is everything okay in there? No, there's no toilet paper anywhere in this house! Oh, good thing I put a little bit of um, baby wipes under the sink. <laughs> in case I had to change baby Kira's diaper. Well, Mom, do I look like I'm one years old? I mean, come on, where's the toilet paper? Uh, sounds like we need to go grocery shopping. Ugh, you think? Gee, Molly, how's your stomach feeling? It feels like a volcano erupted in my stomach. Or like someone poisoned me with milk. Oh, geez, I'm sorry about that. She's just a baby, Molly. She didn't know any better. Holy guacamole. Well, good thing that the grocery store has a bathroom. <laughs> yeah, and maybe they actually have toilet paper. Ugh, how embarrassing. Well, Molly, it could be worse. You could eat another taco. <laughs> uh-huh. Very funny, Daisy. Very funny. You should be so grateful you're not lactose intolerant. <clears throat> Ooh, Molly, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <clears throat> really? It doesn't sound like you're fine. Are you sure? She's got enough gas that we don't have to stop in the gas station for any. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, crack jokes at my expense. Sure. <clears throat> uh, Molly, maybe you should wait in the car. No! I'm making sure that we have all the supplies needed at the house from now on. Molly, don't you think you're a little bit too old to be riding in the cart? Hey, you're the one that put me in here! No, I didn't. Yes, yes, Mom. Yes, you did. 
Oh, well, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Get out of the cart. Seriously, I can't push it. You're too heavy. Fine, I'm gonna go over to the Dorito section. Are you sure your stomach feels good enough for that? <sighs> no, I just wanna hide out over here. Okay, now let's see, we gotta get the essentials. Molly, what on earth are you doing? I'm getting the giant mega roll of toilet paper. We are never running out again. <laughs> you look ridiculous. Maybe you should wear that costume for Halloween. Oh, very funny. Pick on the lactose intolerant girl. <laughs> but you're literally wearing the toilet paper. How many rolls is that, a hundred? <laughs> hey, well, you know what? We're never going to run out again. Oh, I just got to move this over to the cart. Mom, mom. What? Molly, what are you doing? That's a lot of toilet paper. I'm not even sure we have room in the cart for it. We have room. We have room, see? <laughs> Oh, man. We don't have room for milk or eggs or chips or um, anything else. <laughs> we just have room for toilet paper. <laughs> hey, I don't ever want you guys to be in the situation I was just in. It's not fun, people. It's not fun. Oh, Molly, I'm sorry you're having such a bad night. I know taco night is normally so, so fun for you. Okay, we can pick up a pizza for tomorrow night. We need some more fruit. I need some more milk. I put it all in my taco. <laughs> oh my. You put all of your milk on Molly's taco. Oh, you naughty little baby. Yeah. Very funny that you put all your milk in my taco. Remember, baby Kira, Molly can't have milk, okay? So don't do that again. Oh my gosh. She should be grounded for life. Wow, Molly Hosh. She's just a little baby. I mean, look at her cute little innocent face. Yeah. So innocent. Besides that, behind that pacifier, she's probably making evil little faces. Oh boy, Molly, you really have gone insane. Molly, how's your stomach feeling, honey? Oh, uh, well, it feels like I have to run to the bathroom again. Uh, good thing we bought all that toilet paper. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I feel like the bathroom and I are becoming BFFs. Wait. W -w -w wait. Where's all the toilet paper? We bought like a hundred rolls and there's none up here? Uh, Mom! Mom! Wait, wh wh what? What are you doing? I love Halloween. I'm the mummy. Did you wrap yourself in toilet paper, baby Kara? Uh-huh. A hundred rolls of it. <laughs> I swear it took to make this Halloween costume. Are you serious right now? You used all the toilet paper to make a Halloween costume? It's it's not even Halloween! I love it, guys. Isn't it cute? Ah! Whee! This is so fun! Thanks for inviting me to the park today, guys. No problem. I'm starting to get hungry, though. I don't have any money. Well, Molly, that's unfortunate. You spent all of your allowance in Brookhaven. I know, but now I need a snack. Don't worry, Molly. I'm sure they'll give you some ice water at Starbrook's. Ice water? Oh. Well, let's go get something because I'm really hungry. Uh, Dizzy, can I borrow a couple dollars? Fine, Molly, I guess. Oh, you're the best sister ever. Starving, so hungry. Gotta eat something right now. Hi, you. Welcome to Starbucks Coffee. I want to let you know that today we're giving away one free pumpkin spice wow. muffin. What? Today must be my lucky day. Oh, sorry. My sister and my friend are kind of slow. Um, they run way slower than me. I don't know why I'm so fast today. Oh, <laughs> maybe it's because you were so excited about our furry muffins. What? There's free muffins? Are you kidding me? Yeah, pumpkin spice ones too. Just in time for Thanksgiving. Whoa, that sounds delicious. And I'm most excited that I don't have to give Molly any money to buy anything. <laughs> Correction, I also need a um, pumpkin spice latte to match it. Ay, 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 all right, Molly, I'll pay. But you owe me one. Is it just me or do these muffins taste a little weird? What? I don't know what you're talking about. Mm. I think they're delicious. Mm, can we have another one? Sorry, only one per customer. Unless you want to pay for them, of course. I don't think they're good enough to pay for. What are you talking about? These pumpkin spice muffins are delish. Mm, mm, mm. 
Ah, uh, that was so good. I want to eat it all over again. Except for now it's in my stomach, so I can't. <laughs> well, guys, I have to get going home. My mom said to be home by noon today. I'm going to help her do some cleaning. Ugh, boring. Well, it was nice hanging out with you, Brookie. Bye. I'll miss you guys. Wow, I'm glad I don't have to clean today. Me either, but let's head home. We can play some Roblox or something. Thanks for the free muffins. Have a great day. You too. Thanks for stopping in. See you next time. Um, you know I will. <laughs> Your coffee and stuff is the best ever. Come on, Daisy. Are you coming? Da Daisy? Okay, where did Daisy go? Did she seriously teleport home? She's always doing stuff like that. Mom, we're home. Oh, hey, girls. <laughs> I'm just eating one of these delicious free muffins from Starbucks. What? You were at Starbucks? We didn't see you there. Oh, yeah. I went by earlier today. Wait, you were at Starbucks? Yeah, we went to the park first with Brookie, like we told you, but then we got really hungry. So we were going for a snack, but they were giving out free muffins, so we got one for free. Yeah, but I still had to buy Molly a spiced latte. Yeah, it was so delicious. Thanks, Daisy. Ugh, my tummy feels kind of weird. Must be there was some fiber in those muffins. Oh, great, don't blow up the toilet, Molly. <laughs> no promises, Daisy. Hmm. This is delicious and also tastes a little bit weird. Aw, I don't think I'm going to eat the rest of this. Hey, look, Molly. It's your documentary on TV. Documentary? What's that? It means it's all about you. But it's a pig! Daisy, it's because you ate so much sweets and treats. You just eat like a pig. Like, like this. Daisy! Oh, my gosh. Daisy, get back here. Why, I gotta... Girls, what are you doing? Oh, my stomach kind of hurts. Daisy! Daisy! Molly, I, I, I'm sorry. I swear I didn't mean to call you a pig. Maybe I'm going to call you, um, um, I don't know, a very hungry for treats type person. That, that doesn't sound much better. Daisy! Girls, come here. Why are you two fighting? Because she called me a piggy. Daisy, that's not like you. <sighs> Daisy, that is very, very not nice. I've decided you're going to have a timeout. What? M -m -m Me? I, I don't need a timeout. I never get a timeout. Oh, yeah. You're so perfect. Except for this time when you called me a piggy for eating too many treats. Now you got a timeout. Molly, don't tease your sister or you'll be sitting there with her. All right, Daisy. You do the crime, you do the time. Go to the timeout chair. I can't believe this. I I just got a timeout. Oh, my stomach is really hurting. Something was off about those pumpkin spice muffins. Um, as in off the hook? Yeah! Oh, I feel kind of dizzy and like, like, I need to go to the bathroom! Watch out! Mom, are you okay? Well, I can't believe it. I'm not okay. I, I, I gotta time out! Don't cry about it, Daisy. It's only gonna make your sentence longer. I don't think that's a thing, Molly. These pigs are cute. I could be a pig. I don't care. <laughs> Ooh, Brooke High is on. <sighs> Time to chill. We interrupt your Brook High to bring you breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news. Oh, I don't feel so good. Mom, there's breaking news. Okay. Well, is it zombieism? Because I sort of feel like a zombie. We just discovered that about a thousand people in Brookhaven have called 911 and what we think is an outbreak of food poisoning. We suggest not eating any pumpkin spice muffins from Starbrooks. They seem to be the culprit behind the food poisoning. The icing has gone bad. What? Daisy? We ate those! Ah! Oh my god, this is bad! This is so bad! Oh, tell me about it. Maybe mom just got the bad muffin because she looks awful. Gee, thanks. Maybe I should call 911. Breaking news, breaking news. If you call 911, you're going to have a wait. The hospital is completely overrun with food poisoning patients. Try to wait it out at home. Oh, um, gee, Daisy? Daisy, what's going on? Uh, my stomach. Well, I'm the only one that doesn't have it. What's wrong with me? I ate two of them. What? You ate two? Um, no, I only ate one. Molly! You took another muffin? It was only one free one for poor customer. 
Okay, but, um, actually, I just took the rest of Brookie's because she didn't want to eat it. She said it tasted funny, so I thought they were good. Oh, um, gee, Molly, how are you not sick? I don't know. I feel pretty fine, but you guys look terrible. I'm going to go out in town and see if I'm the only one that didn't get it. Ding dong! Brookie! Are you home? Brookie? Molly, is that you? Brookie, what are you doing? Ew, you're barfing. Ugh. Did you hear? All of Brookhaven has food poisoning. Are you okay, Molly? Um, yeah, I'm fine. Oh my God, don't get in the toilet. That's terrible. Sorry, I sort of fell in there. I'm feeling kind of dizzy. When did your mom get home? She is home. She's up in bed, throwing up. Oh no, she ate the free muffin too. I ate two muffins and I'm not sick. <laughs> I always knew I had a stomach like a billy goat. I could eat tin cans and my stomach wouldn't get upset. <laughs> tin cans. Molly, this is serious. Don't try to make me laugh. It'll make my stomach hurt. Oh, sorry about that, Brookie. Do you need to go to the hospital? Oh, I think so. Okay, I'll call 911. 911. What is your emergency? Dad, is that you? Molly. Oh... Whatever you do, don't eat this pumpkin spice muffin. Dad, did you go to Starbucks today? Molly, I have a cop. Of course I went to the donut shop. But why did you eat a donut? You always eat a donut, Dad. I don't know, because they were free. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Ew, Dad. Sorry, Gassy. Uh, now I'm going to throw. Uh, Dad, this is 911. I need an ambulance. Okay, address, please. Wait, is it for you? No, strangely enough, Dad, I'm okay. You didn't eat a muffin then. No, I ate the muffins, two of them, but I'm not sick. Oh, I don't understand. It's at Brookie's house. She and her mom, they need an ambulance. Send one right away. I hope you'll be okay, Dad. Okay, now I'm gonna call Daisy. Hello? Daisy, do you and Mom need an ambulance? Yes, send one. Okay, I'm sending one. Let me just text Dad. Send ambulance for mom and Daisy too. This has been the craziest day of my life. Rookie, are you going to be okay? I don't know, Molly. I think this might be the end for me. Uh, Brookie, no one dies from food poisoning, I don't think. I don't know. My stomach feels like an alien's going to rip out of it. Oh, wow. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm going to go check on my mom and sister. I'll be right back. Mom? Mom, have you turned into a zombie? Halloween's over. Uh, okay, I'll be back to check on you, Mom. Dizzy! Dizzy, are you okay? I don't feel good! Wow, that was ear-shattering. Okay, I'm gonna go back and check on Brookie. This is too much. I can't be the only one that's not sick! Oh, I don't feel so good. I need to go home. What? No, you're the only doctor. You... Oh, no. You went and got us pumpkin spice muffin on your lunch break, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Here, you get to be doctor for today. What? I don't know how to be a doctor. What should I do? Just give everybody Pepto-Bismol. Well, um, gee. Hi, um, Dr. Molly here coming to check you. What are you doing, Molly? Um, the doctor told me that, um, I had to be the doctor because all the doctors are sick. I'm the only one in Brookhaven that didn't get food poisoning. Molly, you don't know how to be a doctor. Well, I'm all you've got, so do you want some medicine or not? Okay, you don't have to be mean about it. I am the sick one, you know. Sorry, I'm just a little stressed out. Being a doctor is hard work. Here you go, Brookie. Here's some Pepto-Bismol. This should make your tummy feel at least a little better. Oh, I hope so. All right, I'm going to go check on other patients. I'll be right back. La, 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 la. Daisy, go away! Oh, my gosh. She's, like, cray-cray right now. Here, look. I'm a doctor. What do you not? You and Molly, my sister. And an annoying sister with that. Oh, my stomach hurts. <laughs> Ew, Daisy, you feel better? No, nothing makes it feel better. Well, this Pepto-Bismol will. That's all? That's all? A Pepto-Bismol chew? Ugh. I know, it's not very fun, but trust me, you're going to get better. Where's my third patient? Hello, we are taking patient number 6532 to the morgue. What? To the morgue? Oh, mom! Ugh. 
sorry, I'm sick and I couldn't read that quite right. I meant we are taking her to a different room. <laughs> sorry. Ah! Oh my god, this hospital has gone crazy. All right, I've got to go to a different room and um, give my mom the Pepto-Bismol. Okay, let's see what room they moved my mom into. Oh, room 126. Okay, perfect. Uh, mom, you're drooling. I don't care. I'm too sick to care. Here, um, I've got some medicine for you. What? Molly, did you start doing your homework and become a super smart doctor? Um, yeah, sure. Here, take this medicine. Okay. Ew, it tastes awful. Yeah, sorry about that. All right, my shift is over. I gave everybody their medicine, and now I need to go relax. That was just such crazy insaneness. I know exactly how I'll relax. <laughs> Since I didn't get sick from any of the pumpkin spice muffins, there's a bunch left with my name on them. Ooh, those are good. I don't know why everybody else got food poisoning. I didn't. Mm. All the more for me. <laughs> Delicious! <laughs> this is so awesome! All of my toys are out in the living room! I love this! <laughs> Look at this adorable cat. Meow, 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 meow. Da -da -da -ba 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 Woo! Messy, messy! Da -da -da -ba fine, fine! That's right, baby Kara, it is fun. It's not really that messy. I did a bubba, yes. Messy, messy. Ooh, fun, fun. Yeah, okay, it's a little messy, but it's super fun. I play. It's a double boy, it's a bubba. Whoa, what's this huge mess in the living room for, Molly? What, what, what's this? What do you mean, huge mess? Molly, you put all of your toys out into the living room. Mom's going to be mad at you. She always says, keep your toys in, the, in your bedrooms, please. Don't make a mess in the common areas. Okay, yeah, but I'm gonna clean it up, Daisy. Yeah, wait, right, Molly. You better clean it up right now. No way, Daisy. You're not my mom. You can't tell me what to do. Okay, Molly. I'm just warning you. Mom's gonna be mad. Mad about what? Girls, who made this giant mess? We all did, Mom. Molly, that's not true. Yeah, it is, Mom. Everybody made a mess. Well, I told you girls to keep your toys in your room. Ugh, the last time you girls played out in the living room like this with all of your toys, I had to pick it up after work at midnight. I know, Mom, but this time we're going to be super good about it. We promise. Fine, fine. Okay, well, I'm going to run an errand. When I get back, I want you girls to have all of these toys picked up. Okay, Mom, sure. We'll do it. We promise. Okay, well, I hope so. Molly, you said I pulled all these toys out. No, I didn't. This was all your idea. And you shouldn't tell people fibs. Naughty, naughty. Well, I'm sorry, but um, I figured you just want to play with these toys, so you'd be partially to blame. No, Molly, I don't want to play with the toys. And you can't hold baby Kira responsible. She's a baby. Speaking of a baby, come on, baby Kira. It's time for your nap. No, 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 no. Yes, baby Kira, do you want to sit in time out? No. Okay then, come on, it's time for your nap. I'm gonna give my baby sister a nap and then, um, yeah, I've got stuff I gotta do. Go on, get in your bed. Nighty night, sleep tight. Have a good nap, baby Kira. You're so cute and cuddly. But go to sleep. Good night. Yeah, nine nine. Oh, I have this huge mess to clean up. Nobody wants to do that. That's not even fun. Hot tub time! And the brightly colored unicorn's on! Yes, best day ever. I'll clean up that mess later. Ah, so relaxing. Look at me just chilling in the hot tub. Molly, did you pick up that mess yet? Uh-huh, yeah, sure, sure I did. The brightly colored unicorn, the brightly colored unicorn. Molly, no you didn't. I'm looking at that huge mess right now. Stop watching TV, stop being in the hot tub, and go clean up your giant mess. Oh, Daisy, I'll clean it up later. Don't nag me. Molly, 
I'm only nagging you because you're not listening. Uh-huh, sure. Sure you are. Get out of deal, Molly. Fine, I'll clean it up. Go in your room or something. Fine, Molly, I'm not helping you. I didn't make the mess. Okay, cool. Finally, my sister's gone. Oh, I'm starving. Better have a snack before I clean up that mess. Let's see, what should I have? Um, ooh, fruit smoothie, a pear, an orange. Some cereal, that sounds delicious. I'm gonna have some Roros. <laughs> Just gonna pour this into the bowl. Oh, this is gonna be delicious. I like it with some milk on it. Well, I mean, I don't know how else you would eat your cereal. It's not like you'd pour soup on it. Mmm. <laughs> These Roros are delicious. Mmm, yeah. Ah, oh, now I feel awesome. Time to go play on my computer. Molly, did you clean that up? 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 Oh my gosh, my sister is annoying. Molly, you didn't even clean it up and now you're playing a game. Mom's gonna be home soon and she's going to say, Molly, you're grounded. No, 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 I've got plenty of time. She won't be home anytime soon. Molly, yes, she will be home. She will be home very soon. Uh huh, sure. Oh my gosh. Oh, I've got to beat this boss. Molly, stop playing that video game. Fine, I'm going to my room. I'm not responsible for you, Molly. That's right, Daisy, you're not. You're definitely not. Hey, what's going on here? Daisy, come back here right this instant. What, well, Mom? What did I do? Molly, you come here too, please. Um, okay, um... Whoa, Mom forgot to close the door. I'm gonna close it. That way we don't have anybody wandering in here. Molly, what is this mess? Daisy, what is this mess? <gasps> Daisy, I put the toys away and then you took them back out. Daisy, that's very naughty. You're grounded for a whole week. But, but I, 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 uh... No, I don't want to hear it, Daisy. Go to your room. Molly, what are you doing? Uh, I'm just playing on my computer, being a good kid and all that. Okay, well, I guess I'm cleaning this all up. Yeah, sorry about that, Mom. Oh, oh boy, I almost got caught. That would have been horrible. Too bad my sister got caught. Oh, there's such a huge mess here. I can't believe that Daisy didn't listen. That's so unlike her. Mom, I, I need to talk to you, please. Oh, Daisy. I know that this is the first time you've been bad, really, in a long time. But you really are grounded, honey. I'm sorry. But it wasn't the truth. What do you mean it wasn't the truth? I mean, I I, I didn't do this. You you didn't. But, but Molly said you did. But she was lying. I didn't. I, I didn't make the mess in the first place. And I didn't make it the second time. It was Molly. And when you left and she said she would clean it, she didn't. She got in the hot tub. And then she played on the computer and stuff. And she didn't do it. <gasps> she didn't? Okay, Daisy. I'm sorry that I didn't listen to you the first time. I'll go find Molly. And you're not grounded. Thank you, Mom. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry, Daisy. Thanks for telling me the truth. <laughs> I love this game. It's so fun. Molly, I have a question for you. Okay, Mom, but I'm playing this game right now. Um, no, you're not. Uh-oh. This sounds serious, Mom. What is it? Did you lie about Daisy making that mess? Um, the... Molly, don't lie. Um, yes. Molly... I'm so disappointed in you. You know better than that. I know, I just panicked because, well, well, I didn't want to get in trouble and I was just having fun and I didn't want to have to pick it up. But is it fair that I should have to pick it up or your sisters when you've made the mess or dad? Um, yes. No, Molly, the answer is no. It's not fair that we should have to pick up your messes. Now, I want you to pick up your mess and you're grounded. But mom, the carnival's this weekend. And if you can be a good girl by then, maybe I'll consider lifting your grounding. But until then, you're grounded. Oh, this is horrible. 
Yep, it sure is, Molly, but you're the one that put yourself in this boat. Oh, I've got to clean up all these toys and I'm grounded. And Molly, I really hope you um consider being good because you want to be able to go to the carnival, right? Uh, yeah, I do want to go to the carnival. Well, then I think you should be on your best behavior. <laughs> oh, look at this octopus. It's so cute. Molly, you're not supposed to play with the toys. Put them away, please. Okay, I'm putting them away. Molly, Mom, what's for dinner? Molly, don't think about dinner right now. Just go clean, okay? But, Mom, cleaning is boring. I know it's boring, but if you make the mess, then you're the one that has to clean it up. Okay, Mom, I guess you're right. That's good, Molly. I'm glad you see things my way. <laughs> yeah, moms always have their way, and basically, you have to follow them. Well, that's just because we're keeping you safe and we're teaching you so you can grow up to be good people. Yeah, I know. It's just hard having to do all these chores sometimes. Hey, Toy Hero fans. So, I kind of got grounded for being naughty. But I'm going to be on my best behavior so I can go to the carnival this weekend. And guys, if you want to see what's happening with my Roblox family, make sure you subscribe to all four of my channels. Well, our family channels. I just have one channel. And my sister has a channel too. So, the channels are the Toy Heroes, the Toy Heroes Games, Gaming with Molly and Gaming with Daisy. Oh, I really wish that I hadn't um, just, just slacked off and not done any of my chores. Molly, what are you doing right now? Uh, sitting on the couch talking to the Toy Hero fans. Molly, you're supposed to be cleaning that up. Oops. Okay, guys, I really got to go because I've got to clean up all this mess. See you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>
Ugh, I can't even get on the bus. What's wrong with me right now? Ugh, ugh, ugh. Brookhaven bus, why are you so hard to get on to? Good morning, students. Now, remember, keep our yeah. hands to ourselves, all that stuff. I can yell, I got me cool. I got me cool. Hey, what's a little kid doing on the bus? D this isn't for babies. I'm not baby. I'm toddler. I, I got me cool like a big girl. Well, I don't. I can't believe there are any babies on this bus. This is total. Whoa! You that bad wood. You said. Oh my gosh! A toddler just swore. <laughs> oh man, I think it might be a bad influence. Wait a minute. Why? Why is my baby sister still here? Good question. Why are you here? I'm going to school like my big sisters. Um, you can't go to school because you're not five yet. And then you start kindergarten. You're not in middle school. Well, this is total... Be oh my gosh! Did you just say what I think you said? I think she did. Baby Kira, where'd you hear that word? I think it's a total... Oh my gosh, go to the principal's office right now! She'll call your mother and, and work this all out. Daisy, where's the rest of the class? They're still getting off the school bus. Oh my goodness, baby killer. You're going to be grounded for life. Ugh, there's a student in my office already? School just started! Wait, I can't even see the student. Who is that? It's a baby! I got baby! I told you! Why everybody call me a baby when I told you? This is Oh my gosh! Wait a minute, aren't you Laura Acker's daughter? I am not uh, Acker's daughter. Oh my gosh, I better call her on the phone right now. Mmm, this coffee's delicious. Finally, a moment of peace just to myself. Oh, my phone's ringing. Oh no, I wonder who that could be. Hello, Miss Ackers, is this you? Yes, this is Mrs. Acker. How can I help you? Well, um, this is the school calling. Uh, this is the principal. Oh, great. What did Molly do now? No, no, Molly didn't do anything. Well, yet yeah, anyway, the day is young. Well, what are you calling me for then? Did Daisy get another amazing grade in science class? No, it's about your other daughter. My other daughter? I don't have another daughter in school. You must be calling the wrong person. No, your littlest daughter, Kira. Oh, <laughs> what are you calling about her for? She's in my office. She's been saying... What? She didn't say that. She's right here. I, I just put her down for a nap. I'm just going to run into the room and look and make sure... Oh my gosh, she's not here. Oh, I am so sorry. She wanted to follow her big sisters to school today and apparently she succeeded. I feel like a terrible mom right now. Don't worry, Mrs. Acker. It happens more often you than you think. I'll keep her here in my office until you can come pick her up. And you might want to tell her that she can't say uh, in school. All right, I don't know where she learned that word. It was, certainly wasn't from me. Maybe her father. Baby Kira, you still have a few years left to go before you, um, you know, come to school. Baby Kira, there you are. Oh my goodness, you're in so much trouble. I am going to go like a big girl like I go to school. Because, honey, you're not five years old yet. What, what this is? Oh my gosh, you are not allowed to say that, baby Kira. Where did you hear that? I like find this boy on the bus. He said a lot. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. My daughter was so naughty today. Oh, I was hoping you'd be more like Daisy instead of Molly. Well, I can see my work here is done, so, um, well, good luck. Thank you, Principal. Come on, baby Kira, it's time to go home. I'm not going, I stay here forever. Oh, I can tell that you're definitely going to be more like Molly. Oh. <laughs>
Yeah, but we might ride bikes, so I'm gonna take my bike and see if she wants to ride bikes. Knock, knock! Brookie, are you home? Brookie! Okay, I'm just gonna let myself in. Brookie! Oh, hey, Molly! What are you doing here? I just came over to see if you want to hang out or something. It's really nice outside. It's like the first day of spring, and oh, my sister had to come along. Well, Daisy can come along, too. She's my friend. Yeah, Molly, we're both her friend. Jeepers. Guys, you don't have to fight over my friendship. I can be friends with both of you. Yes, but you can only have one BFF, and that's me. No, it's me. Me, Daisy. I'm her BFF. Guys, you're both my BFF. Really? I thought I was your BFF. Molly, you guys are both my friends. I, please, stop fighting over whose friendship is more important to me. It's making me really stressed out. Oh, sorry, Brookie. Well, anyway, we didn't want to start off on on having like a bad day like this. We actually just wanted to see if you wanted to hang out with us. I'd love to hang out with you guys if you can behave. Well, <laughs> no promises there. You want to ride bikes? Uh, yeah, I could bring my skateboard or something. All right, well, we'll meet you outside. I already have my bike out. What's taking Brookie so long? Maybe she had to go potty or something. Brookie, what what happened? Sorry, <laughs> I had a bean burrito and I'm, uh -huh. excuse me, a little bit gassy. Ew! Well, sorry, I had to go potty, but I'm ready now. All right, how about we race from here all the way down to the end of the street? Ooh, sounds fun. Let's do this. All right, everybody come to the fire hydrant because that's where we're going to start. And Brookie, are you ready? Uh-huh, ready. On your mark. Ready, set, go! <laughs> I'm totally winning. Yeah! <laughs> what happened? Daisy, is that you crying? No, Molly. It's, it's Brookie. Brookie! Oh, my God, Brookie! Are, are you okay? Brookie, say something! Oh! Oh, I didn't want you to say that, but... If that's really how you feel, I guess say it. Molly, quit telling her what to do. She's hood. Are you guys really going to argue right now? Because obviously my leg is like broken or something. Oh my God, Brookie. What happened? She fell off a skateboard. Oh no. What are those losers doing? What? What's wrong with you? She fell off her skateboard. What? <laughs> Why are you laughing at her right now, Sarah? <laughs> I bet that looked hilarious. Quit laughing at her. You need to go to the hospital, Brookie. No, I don't. Everyone will laugh at me because I'm bad at my skateboarding. No. No, they won't. You got hurt. It, you have to go to the hospital. I think your leg might be broken. <laughs> yeah, you can go to the hospital because you're terrible with skateboarding. All right, Sarah, go away. You are not helpful at all. Brookie, I'm calling 911. I, no, I can get up. No, you can't. I can tell already. Look at the way your leg is curved. It's broken. 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, my friend on Parkland Drive, that's that's where we live. She fell off her skateboard and 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 she, she can't move her leg. She can't stand up at all. She's crying a lot. Okay, we'll send an ambulance right away. Just stay on the line with us. Well, at least Sarah left. Yeah, what a bully. Oh, my leg. Oh, what if everyone thinks that, that I'm a loser? No one's going to think that, Brookie. Oh, I've got a bad signal right now. Can you hear me? What's your address? I'm sorry, I have a bad signal. Just come to Parkland Drive. Number 11. Brookie, the ambulance is on their way. Just hold on, okay? Me and Daisy are here. Okay. Thanks, guys, for being my best friends. No problem, Brookie. Just hang on. Try to take deep breaths. Here comes the ambulance! Oh my gosh, thank goodness. She's over here! She's over here! Hi there. Oh my goodness. What's your friend's name? Brookie. Hi, Brookie. I'm a paramedic, and I'm here to help you um, get to the hospital, okay? Oh yeah, it does look like your leg might be broken. All right, I'm going to get you onto the stretcher, sweetie, and then we're going to take you to the hospital so they can get you all fixed up. Just hang tight. Oh, my leg, it hurts so bad. I'm gonna ride along with her, is that okay? Well, you're not her parent. Well, their parents aren't home right now, it's just me. Well, what relation are you to her? Her best friend. Well, one of them. Okay, that's fine. I don't want her to be alone back there anyway. All right, everybody hold tight. We're on our way to the um hospital. I'll follow you guys on my hoverboard. Okay, Daisy, we'll see you there. Brookie, are you okay? No, I'm scared. I don't want to go to the hospital. They know how to help you there, Brookie. It's going to be okay. I don't want to have an IV. I've never had an IV before. I know, but trust me, 
The doctors are your friends, okay? Not your enemies. They're there to help you. What's this lady doing? I'm sorry, but, um, really need a coffee. What? Get us to the hospital, are you crazy lunatic! What can I get for you today? Yes, I'd like one coffee, please, and make it fast. I have someone in the back. Oh, this ambulance driver's terrible! Okay, you can pull around. Oh my gosh. I'm never getting to the hospital. Oh, my leg's gonna be broken forever. No, that's not true, Brookie. Look, we're moving again. She got her stinky old coffee. Oh, this lady is something else. Okay, Brookie, we're just gonna take an x-ray of your leg. Everything will be fine. Is this gonna hurt? No, x-rays don't hurt, honey. But that leg does, so let's get it feeling better, okay? Okay, doctor. Oh, I don't know about this. Oh, it looks like you got a bonk on your head, a bonk on your arm, and a small fracture in your, um, your left leg. No, does this mean I need surgery? No, honey, no, 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 no. It doesn't look like anything's out of place. We'll just put a cast on it and you can spend the night in the hospital for observation and go home tomorrow. Oh, thank goodness, do I have to have an IV? No, you don't have to have an IV. Oh my gosh, I hope my friend doesn't have to have surgery on her leg. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out. Poor Brookie, poor Brookie. Okay, I need to sit down. I'm just like freaking out right now and I need to stay calm for my friend. But what's taking so long in the x-ray room? Brookie! Brookie, are you okay? Well, I'm I'm gonna be okay. Do you need surgery? An IV? Do you have to stay here? Um, well, yes, I have to stay here. No, I don't need surgery. And no, I don't have to not have an IV. Hooray! That's great news! So, so, are you okay? Well, I have a bonk on my head, I have a bonk on my arm, and I have a fracture in my leg. But you don't have to have surgery? No, I just have to have a cast, which is gonna stink. That means I can't even go out for soccer tryouts. It's gonna be okay, Brookie. I'm just glad you didn't get more hurt. And I'm sorry you did get hurt the way you did. What's going on, Brookie? Are you gonna die? Um, Daisy, no, she's not gonna die. You gonna need surgery? No, I just am gonna have to have a cast. Oh no, what about soccer tryouts? Yeah, you might not wanna bring that up because she's feeling kinda sad about it. Oh, sorry. Well, I'm glad everything is gonna be okay for you, Brookie. Yeah, me too. It was really scary, and I can't believe that Sarah laughed at me. That makes me angry. She should have detention for the rest of her life for that. She should get a lump of coal for Christmas. She, she should have to clean up dog doo-doo in the backyard for the next seven years. Oh, Molly, you are angry. Maybe you need to go um, run around the block. Let out some of that angry energy. Yeah, Molly, she's not worth your time. Don't even get angry. Well, I can't help it. She's rude. She's a bully. She's annoying. Yeah, she's definitely all those things. But I'm okay. Well, I'm glad about that, Brookie. Me too, Molly. Well, you guys want to hang out with me and play some Roblox? I'm going to be stuck here for the night. Sounds good to me. Me too. But first, let's go get some snacks from the hospital, um, cafeteria. Mmm, snacks. Well, that's one good thing about being in the hospital. Oh, Molly, you always think about your stomach. <laughs> Dad, this show is hilarious. Mmm, these Doritos are good. Oh, baby Kira did not want to go down for a nap. Oh. Sorry, honey, I'll get her on the next one. Sure. Mom, you want some Doritos? That might make you feel better. Oh, yuck. Those smell so gross. Doritos smell gross? What's wrong with you? My stomach hurts really bad. Oh, honey, that sounds terrible. Would you like some chicken noodle soup? No! Don't talk about food! Ew! Do you want some water? No, I don't want anything. I just want my stomach to stop hurting. Oh, Mom, I'm so sorry. Maybe you have the stomach bug. And if you do, I'm going to stand way over here because I don't want it. That's good, because the smell of those Doritos is going to make me throw up. Oh, man. Maybe we better get you the puke bucket. Molly, seriously, please stop crunching those Doritos. Okay, Mom, I'll put them away. I'm so sorry you don't feel good. Here you go, honey. Here's the barf bucket, just in case you need it. Thank you. Oh... Oh, incoming. Blech. Ew, gross. Okay, um, it's about time for me to leave. <laughs> Marley, what's going on over there? You're interrupting my reading. Mom's throwing up into a bucket. Ew, gross. Is she in the stomach bug? I don't know what's wrong with her. She might. Oh, no. We're all going to catch it. I just know it. 
Don't worry, honey, I'll take care of baby Kira. Thanks, Dan. Uh. Oh, is it time to wake up already? Come on, honey, it's time to get up for work. And well, the girls, they, they need to be driven to school cause you know, vacation's over. No, I can't get out of bed ever again. Seriously, honey? Is your stomach still upset? Yeah, I threw up all night long. Honey, maybe you should go to the hospital. No, you take the girls to school. I'll stay here. Hopefully I feel better soon. Come on, Molly, get in. Why are we riding in the sheriff's car, Dad? Because Mom can't drive us to school today. That's right, girls, and I have to hurry so I'm not late for work. We look like criminals back here, Dad. Yeah, we kind of do. <laughs> We're behind the metal cage, even. Yeah, if you didn't know, there's like a metal cage between the cop and the criminals, and we're we're in the back of the cop car, and we didn't even do anything wrong. Molly, if you get another detention, I'm gonna put you back here for reals and take you to jail. Seriously? Is mom gonna be okay, Dad? I'm really worried about her. I'm worried too, but I think she's going to be fine. I may need to take her to the hospital, and if I do. I'll tell the school right away so they'll send you home. Really? Well, then we should definitely take her to the hospital because <laughs> I want to get out of school. Molly! See you later, Dad. Have a good day. Bye, girls. Love you. Okay, now I've got to drop baby Kira off at preschool. Oh, my God. I forgot baby Kira at home. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Dad's having a really hard time right now. Yeah, he's not used to doing Mom's schedule, but don't worry. He'll get the hang of it. Seriously, what is wrong with me? Oh, oh my gosh. I feel like I'm going to die. Oh. Maybe a nice warm bath will help my stomach feel better. Oh, wait. You don't think? No, it couldn't be, Laura. Don't even think that. But it could be. Maybe I should take a test. Oh my gosh. I might be pregnant. Okay, the instruction said just to wait and see if it turns blue. If it's blue, it means I'm going to have a baby. I mean, I already have baby Kira and Molly and Daisy. Oh, there's going to be so many diapers. So many diapers. Okay, let's not freak myself out right now. It's probably just the stomach flu and I'll be fine tomorrow. Oh my gosh, it turned blue. O-M-G. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, I'll just call Dan and ask him to come home, and then um, we'll figure this out together. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Hey, honey, what's up? Are you still really sick? You need me to take you to the hospital? Um, Dan, could you come home? Um, okay, yeah. Let me just, let me just, um, um, tell my, my boss, and, and I'll be right there. Yeah, I think that's a really good idea, Dan. See you in a little while. Are you okay, honey? Um, I think so. Okay, I'll be right there. Honey? Honey, what's, honey, what's wrong? Are you okay? What's that you have in your hand? Um, well, it's a pregnancy test. A, 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 a what? A pregnancy test. Uh, yeah, okay, but why do you have that? Well, I have it because my stomach felt like it did when I was pregnant with baby Kira. Oh my gosh. Well, what did it say? It says I'm, um, I'm pregnant. We're gonna have another baby. Oh my gosh! Oh, all oh, the diapers! So many diapers! Oh, oh. Dan, are you okay? Dan? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna pull this together. We're having a baby? Yeah. How do you feel about it? Actually, honey, I'm kind of glad. You are? I love kids, and I think we have a really nice family. I do too. Except for I wish I could stop throwing up. I'll be right back. I have to go to the bathroom. Honey, are you okay? I'm gonna be a dad again. Maybe this time I'll actually get a boy. Three girls and no sons. <sighs> Look, Molly, Dad's car is home. Oh my gosh, he never comes home early. You know what this means. Something's wrong with Mom. Something's really wrong with Mom. Mom, Mom, Mom. Oh, hey, honey, what's up? Mom, are you okay? Why are you eating cotton candy? Mm, it just sounded good. Mom, are you dying? Tell us the truth. Girls, of course I'm not. But Dad and I have a really big announcement. Um, honey, I brought you all these snacks. I wasn't sure which one you wanted. 
Announcement? Yeah, Mom's finally over the stomach bug, apparently. Look at all this food. Nah, she'll be sick tomorrow morning, too. Seriously? Why? What, what's wrong? What disease do you have? Oh, I don't have a disease, girls. <laughs> I'm pregnant. Say what? Pregnant? What are you talking about? You already have a baby. You just had one. Her name's Baby Kira. Did you forget about her? No, it's just, well, <sighs> you're going to have a new little sister or brother. Oh my gosh. Seriously? Yep, I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, but I already took a test, so I know I'm pregnant. Oh my gosh. Another baby? What if this time you have a boy? That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. This is amazing news, ma'am. Well, Molly, what do you think about it? Ah, I can see into my future now. Come on, little brother. Please, stop stop pooping your pants. It's so gross. Oh, Molly. Mm -hmm. The other one needs a diaper change, too. Other one? What are you talking about? Yeah, your little sister, remember? Huh? What? How many babies did you have? Oh, just another eight. Eight? Shh, hush, little baby. Hush, hush. Oh, my gosh. Mom, stop having babies. My future looks grim. Oh, Molly. But look at all the snacks you get till the baby gets here. Baby, is there only one or is there eight? Eight? I hope not. <laughs> Dan, if I'm having eight babies, we need a lot more pizza. I'm on it. <laughs> Do you want some uh, juice with that too, honey? No, she can't have eight babies. No! <laughs>